So I started up this part and like 20 seconds later my camera was like, oh, 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 my SD card is full. I didn't even have a chance to talk in it. <laughs> so I dumped the stuff on the computer, formatted the memory card, and we're back here with 8 hours and 35 minutes of free video footage on the camera's SD card. Woohoo! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It is the airship. One up rally. Oh my god. God, look at the cannonballs. <laughs> well, I have, I can tell from that little thumbnail thingy there. I have a, a squirrel suit of, oh, it's going to be auto-scrolling. Oh, my God. That will be a problem. Oh, God. I'm doomed. <laughs> Try it again. So, yeah, the, uh, um, Auto scroll aspect will keep me from uh, doing this at a more comfortable pace, so so to speak. And wow, that was one of my worst fails yet. <laughs> I'm still not used to the powers of squirrel here. Oh, what do I do here? No, <laughs> because if I yeah, if I land on the nut it's going to instantly kill me and that mecha koopa there it, it automatically goes underneath the nut to begin with unless I'm just supposed to drift over yeah once I lose the powers of squirrel I'm going to pretty much lose the stage but why what is with the uh, beginning here like what am I supposed to do oh god that was a terrible start again. I'm just trying to look ahead here and see if there's anything that I can, like, influence in my trip to the other side, per se. Uh, mm, well, that helped a little bit if I aim for the higher cannonball and use my glide to its fullest extent. Well, let's chain some one-ups and this time successfully chain one-ups oh god <laughs> I said successfully chain one-ups not fail I just don't quite understand that beginning portion maybe I'm actually supposed to like use more air time here yeah I think that I need more air time and I need to just take advantage of the squirrel power to offset the timing of the rest of the stuff that's screwing me up. <laughs> so over here, I can I can pretty much just happily bounce from one cannonball to the next. Oh no! Why did I do that? I, I did it in the wrong direction. I was I was like adjusting my landing and yeah, well not not my landing, my positioning, and I didn't hold forward while I was doing that. And I got off to another terrible... Oh, I, I actually had the the chain going there, but whatever. Arr, three minutes of nothingness. Well, it, it's something. I mean, it's it's no real progress. Boop. I'm going to do that. There we go. There we go. And then I fail it. <laughs> But okay, I got, I understand the concept of, of that first part now. Hopefully. I just need to get 10 one-ups out of this. 10 one-ups. There we go. Oh yeah. No! How did I miss the cannonball? <laughs> Well, it is a five-star stage, so I guess things are going to be a little bit tighter than the other stages, per se. Okay, got the timing offset, so then I'll be able to hit these cannonballs, and then that one, and this one again. There we go. Now, chain these. These should be a ton easier to chain because they're all in a line like that. There we go. I'm going to go up, and actually, what am I supposed to do here? Mecha Koopas, are you around here somewhere? That must be the end of the stage then. Because I can't go any further than that. 
Okay, so I got to chain more at the cannonball section there. I mean, that's as far as I possibly can chain things, basically. Alright, you hit this cannonball and this one. Gently glide down to this, hit that. You can chain these pretty much, oops, indefinitely, and, uh, but you can't because the um, screen is scrolling. But I mean, it's, it's, po it's possible to keep going back and forth between those two cannons just over and over and over again like that. Oh, come on, why did I nick that one this time? <laughs> I guess I f flew a little bit too early. Come on, Pika Gam, this isn't that hard. It's just cannonballs and Mecha Koopas. But I question what that one down there... Like, what, what kind of role does that one have there? Down there, am I supposed to use that to chain for more 1-ups or something like that? Oh, no! Uh, oh, wait, I, I lost my position where I was, I didn't notice. Hit those cannon balls. Get this one! Ten! Yes! Yes! But is it possible to go further than this? I doubt it. Well, actually, maybe it is. Look at where that cannon was on the right side of the screen there. It was just peeking in. Maybe it's possible to get a little bit more out of that. But it seems like it's all concentrated in that one area and you're, you're just supposed to chain kill the cannonballs. Anyway, Paratroopa Panic, which is possibly the last stage in the uh, coin challenges here. Do I get a squirrel suit for this? No. So that means I've got a... Delightful. <laughs> Uh, what's the threshold for the bronze? I forgot to check that. Four, okay. I can do four, but I need... I need to give myself more time between jumps. Preferably with my spinny spin jump thing. What? They don't recover fast enough. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of baffled now. What if I, like, started from up here, and then started to chain these, and then, like, started another chain on those three to increase the amount that I can get out of them? Like, I'll, I'll hit those. And start the chain on those. No! I wanted to do a wall kick. But I nicked the top corner. Dang it! <laughs> I think you see what I'm getting at here. Or what I'm trying to get at here. Alright. Oh shoot, maybe I did this too early. I jumped the gun. Oh, those wall kicks are pretty handy here. No! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I wanted to spin like as I was going off the wall to give myself a little bit of extra float but I did the float a little bit too early and that threw off my timing and distance yeah they, they do indeed start to recover and the trick is to get them is to stay in in the air as long as possible so maybe what I should do here is Get a Koopa in my face. No, that is counterproductive. <laughs> what I should do here is start by wiping out those. Um, maybe not. Or maybe I should do it at a different timing. See, my aim here is to get the first couple Koopas kicked in their shell, chain off of them, and get on, oops, get on the other two and then start chaining off of them and then as the other first two to three recover on the ground, you know, while they're in their shell, then I start to bounce off of them again. Basically. So let's try that. Oh, how do I keep missing that one on my uh, trip back around? I have no idea. Come on, paratroopa, panic, even though there's no need to panic at this, it's not that complicated and I just went right in between both Koopas. 
Go, 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 go! Try it again, PK Gam! You will eventually get it! If you keep trying! Even if it takes 3,000 tries, you will get it! Even if it has to be a lucky run- Oh, I think a wall kick there, as I initially had planned, is the best way to offset the... Oh, and I'm not doing my floaty jump in the middle of my jumps like I was doing before. That might explain things. I guess I just lost my uh, train of thought there and my plan. Alright, so every jump, do a spin. Somewhere. Okay. No, I didn't mean to hit two at once! Oh, that would have worked out! <laughs> Why did they have to be so close together? Alright. Jump, spin, jump, spin, jump, spin, jump, spin. Yep. Hmm. Not spin, then jump. <laughs> well, actually, that, that might have worked out. Because... When you spin jump off a wall, you'll notice that your your wall jump is... Oh, but it, it would automatically kill a Koopa anyway, so that wouldn't work out. I'm just being dumb here. <laughs> I thought because when you wall jump with using a spin jump off a wall, what happens is that the um, jump height is far... I mean, the jump distance is far, far reduced. Yes, yes... Yes! Yes! Silver rank 2 on my, well, first successful run. I was gonna say first run, but I mean first win. Alright, and that maybe took care of the, the one-up challenges. Unless another stage is gonna unlock, like the, uh, uh, nope, another stage isn't going to. I thought another one was gonna unlock, like, in the, uh, coin challenges over here. But yeah, that looks like that's it. So let's start these, the special challenges, whatever the heck these are. Dodge the fireballs for 15 seconds or longer. So it is fireball jump rope. Reminds me of that one Mario Party game. Oh, <laughs> well, that was pretty fantastic, and that's a pretty small block to be on. All right, so I gotta gently. Jump between, there we go. Okay, now they're spaced out a little bit better. They're shooting at different times, so I still gotta keep keep on my toes, but low jumps definitely are your friend. Well, I cleared it. Yeah, because you gotta get back on the ground as quickly as possible, you don't want to uh, screw with the distance too much. I mean, sure, you can offset your um, jump height with the spin, but I don't see it being as helpful as Rhythmically jumping between the fireballs and whatnot. Graceful glide! Mm. So all I have to do is reach the goal to get the bronze, I suppose. But I'll try and do more than that, I guess. Alright. Uh, this is all set up very nicely. So I can just do that. This is all set up in a very, very simple pattern. Oh, actually, maybe not. Uh, go, 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 go. Boop. Uh, how do I get that? How do I manage to get that lower one there? Maybe I'm supposed to get the lower one first and then get to the higher ones? I don't know. Well, I got the silver. That's not too bad. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Progress comes pretty dang quick on the early ones. Once you get up to the higher stages, that's when things take me a bunch of tries. Yay! I'm so used to bouncing on stuff now for one-ups that it's uh, not too much of an issue. Mole to go! Oh. Oh, uh, what? I'm supposed to keep Monty Mole alive on this thing? But how do I do that? Because, won't you... Oh, you follow me, okay. That that won't be an issue then, because I can just flip-flop you around like that, and... No! Oh, no! Okay, maybe it will be a slight issue. <laughs> Although this uh, rafting segment isn't too long from what I remember. Although, since I have to have 
him on the raft. There's always the limit of one on the raft at all times, obviously. Alright, my buddy. My fuzzy buddy. We're gonna have a good time together. We're just gonna... We're gonna jump over each other. Well, I'm gonna jump over you. It's, it's gonna be fun. And you are going to let me progress. And the Goombas are not going to get in my way. And even though they're kind of getting in my way. I gotta get ahead of this here. No, 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 no! No! Maybe I should have stayed in between those two, um, piranha plants. You know, rather than going so close to the edge. Okay, but I got the concept of this. I think this will be the run that will be the winner. There doesn't, I mean, there isn't any real pressure for the raft to keep going, like on that uh, lava stage with the death cloud behind me and whatnot. So it's it's just a matter of killing off the Goombas so that I can progress, but I, but there's no rush to kill off the Goombas, basically. So I can just happily move all over the place, except that won't work. <laughs> Actually, that did work, but it, it's just that the Goomba switched the direction of my mole rhythm. Come on over here, buddy. I know you're trying to kill me, but I still need your, you alive for me to live, so you are indeed my buddy. <laughs> you are my killer buddy, but you're still my buddy. You're, you're my necessary buddy. Alright, here comes the first Goomba Onslaught! You know, I don't mind if the platform is like right here as I'm working on the, um, uh, the Goombas here. In fact, maybe what I should do is wait for all the Goombas to get on top of this platform before I start moving forward. Yeah, this is what I mean about what I should have done before. Will you be safe? You will be safe! Yay! We're both happy to be alive! And I'm not going to push my luck any further this part. <laughs> so I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.